Good morning, y'all goats. Today we are here with a new Naruto to the board, so Shinobi Shrike. And I also want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there that does celebrate it, man. Listen, today is a day for you guys to be thankful, whether it's your family, whether it's just anything in life, man. Be grateful for what you have, man. You never know when's the last time you're going to spend time with somebody, so... You know what I'm saying? Don't take nothing for granted, bro. For real. I'm grateful for a lot of things and I'm very thankful. But one thing I am very, very thankful is your guys' support. Having an amazing supporter base. I would not trade none of y'all for the world, man. I love y'all so much, man. And I'm thankful that I could wake up every day knowing that I could potentially do this YouTube stuff full time. And those that support me, I love y'all, man. I'm very thankful for y'all, bro. Y'all mean the world to me. You don't even know, bro. But yeah, with that being said, if you guys are new to the channel, all I ask for you guys is to drop a like on this video. If you do happen to enjoy, man. Let's try to get 600 likes for Thanksgiving, man. I know y'all goats could do it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's see what they drop with this update. Let's go. Hey, foot on the gas can't take no breaks. My anxiety made me shake it tired. I'm at so back on the update swing so just go down this board because I already clicked on all the stuff. I actually did get banned, so I'm gonna have to like manually click all this. But here's this week's special mission, man. Logging for three days, we get one esoteric scroll. Participate in the Ninja Royal League 15 times to get one esoteric scroll. Win the Ninja Royal League five times to get three valuable scrolls. Clear three VR missions, um, you'll get one valuable scroll and appraise 30 scrolls and you'll get 20,000 Ryo. You complete all the missions, you're in a special reward for completing the missions. You'll get Oteric Scrolls. You're not getting Esoteric Scrolls, you're getting Oteric Scrolls now. Within the time limit, you get two of these. So, hey man, you get rare, oh, nah, let me stop trolling. But you get two Esoteric Scrolls and this will last from today till December 5th. So that's, you got a week to get all this stuff. So the next maintenance we will be receiving is going to be next week on the 5th of December. We should be getting a new feature lineup. Um, yes, yeah, pretty much all we'll get probably another shop as well we'll have to wait and see what they add we have a new feature type lineup update right here man we have a new healer appraisal lineup so as you guys can see for the weapon we have the fame blade kurosawa subaki we have the moonlit medicine we also have the outfit ninja type 5 celestial garb what they finally dropped the celestial garb bro they never dropped that outfit bro yo they never actually dropped that i finally released it bro i have a video on that so I'll link that. I'll link the Fame Lake with the Sour and the Moonlit Medicine. We'll look at the stats later on. And then we got the Type 5 Accessory Nova. Shout out to my boy Nova, man. But um, we have the next plan feature type lineup, which will be on the um, December 12th, 2024. So that's the next time we get a uh, new, what is it called? Feature type lineup. We'll rate the shop later. But so far, the weapon is really good. I'll give it an 8 or 9 out of 10. The Moonlit Medicine is really good. And we'll look. And we'll look at the outfit later. And now for the exchange shop, we also have a new shop right here, man. We have the Utakata's Bubble Pipe returning. We have the Sunlit Medicine. We have the Enogen outfit. And we have Wasabi's outfit top and bottom now. Overall, this update. This shop right here, man. You got the Bubble Pipe. Very good weapon. Sunlit Medicine. Really good. Enogen outfit. No special stats. And Wasabi outfit. No special stats. So that being said, um pretty average shop if you need any of this stuff hey bro go crazy man this will be here until i think the 12th yeah this will be here until the 12th of december 2024 man so pick some of this stuff up if you do want it so here we'll be looking at every single shop update um the feature lineup right here is going to be the shinobi wear kwaki model here at the scientific ninja 2 chakra claw b you have the frozen fang ninja 2 and then we do have the custom ninja outfit type 2 made in um maiden's garb and then we have it for female and then we have the type 2 accessory kami kakushi so yeah man this shop right here i think this quaki model after using it and seeing people use it i think you should skip this honestly you, you don't really need this for attack if you have like claws and like the sunbeam and like kurama clutch this is a weapon you really don't need if you really want the quaki aesthetic to your character go crazy the claws i think are better than this to be honest so if you want the claws they go crazy you don't need a you don't have an attack weapon you should low key summon on this feature lineup. Frozen Fangs is underrated low key. I thought it was trash at first, but it's actually very underrated. And then this two, I mean, this outfit, I rated it last week. Pretty good outfit, man. So I'll rate the shop overall now a good eight or nine out of 10. Again, you have one week to get all this stuff. You have the new summon animal lineup, as you guys can see, man. Um, I don't know why it doesn't show the dates on this, but this will be changing on uh, 
the 19th of December next month. So for those that were watching my Toad Summoning video, if you haven't watched the unreleased Toad Summons, I'm going to link it somewhere on top of this video so you guys can watch it to see the upcoming uh, Toad Showcase. But we'll be getting new Toad Summonings on December 19th. But for now, man, we do have the Hawk still here. We have the Attacker Ninja Hawk. How do you? We have the Healer Ninja Hawk Wako. Supplier Ninja Hawk Jinrai. We have the Attacker Ninja Hound Kage Homura. We have Healer Ninja Hound Hanakiri. And then we do have the Supplier Ninja Hound Sama there. So, yeah. And then we also have these extra rewards here, which you guys can get. Here are some weapons and uh, tools. We have the Range Thunder Sword Keeper Release Range Weapon. We have the Kage Masa Defense Sword. We have the Healer Scientific Ninja Tool Scatter Rain. We have the Raging God Medicine Ninja Tool. We have the Super Tough Medicine Ninja Tool. We have Kirimaru's Outfit, Han Outfit, Tayuya Outfit, which all these outfits do not have any special stats. And you guys have all this filler stuff down here, which you guys want to pause at any time. You guys can look at this stuff. Here are the feature lineup for the uh, class types. We have the Tech Type Appraisal Scientific Ninja Tool Burning Sun. We have the Custom Ninja Outfit Type 2 Lightning Armor for men and female. We have the Type 2 Accessory Wind Tunnel and Gift of Sight. Then Range Type, we have the Scientific Ninja Tool Lapis Fang Blade. We have the Custom Ninja Outfit Type 1 he Heavenly uh, Angel for men and female. And then we do have the Type 1 Accessory Divine Feather and Dusky Drape. Then we do have the Defense Type lineup, which is the Blast Sword Shibuki Release. Uh, we have the Custom Ninja Outfit Type 3 sand blade this is what it's called right sand blade for men and female we have the type 3 accessory black fragment and black scales and then we finally have a new healer lineup today fame blade kurosawa subaki at the moonlit ninja tool medicine we have the custom ninja for type 5 celestial garb for men and women and then we do have the type 5 accessory nova we'll look at this outfit in a little bit finally the exchange shop which again will be changing on uh december 12th right here i don't know why this day shows up but none of the other ones we have utsukatsu's bubble pipe here we have the sunlit medicine ninja tool for attack and defense we have inojin's outfit um if you see i look different i got banned so i had to get a new account then we have uh, Wasabi's outfit, which we cannot see right now, but then we also have all this filler stuff down here, man, so you need any stuff, go crazy, bro. Alright, man, let's rate the outfit, so here are the stats for this uh, Celestial Garb. We have Tiger Constellation, temporarily reduced Ninjutsu cooldown time and increases Ninjutsu damage when the user knocks out an enemy. So that is really good if you are getting kills, you get reduced Ninjutsu cooldown time and increases Ninjutsu damage. Uh, if you suck at the game, um, no offense, but you shouldn't use this then, but... Let's look at the bottom skill, Fluttering Even Star, temporarily boosts defense and restores health over time when the user knocks out an enemy. So, if you put the top one on in this, you're getting a lot of stats. You're getting boosted defense, you get HP, and you're getting cooldown and damage. And then we do have the accessory skill, Shiny Phoenix, temporarily increases movement speed when the user knocks out an enemy. I would not use that one personally, I think there's a better stat. Um, but those two top stats could be good, man, for like a pit build. Probably not a... Uh, 4v4 build but hey this in the pits will low-key go crazy so overall i rate this outfit at 8 or 9 out of 10 um i think the accessory skill should be changed but you know the top skills are pretty good the bottom skills are good maybe you could change one up and you know get another type of buff but yeah this outfit's pretty good man we have ninja league 106 which will be lasting for 14 days or two weeks from right now this is the new event that's going on for shinobi striker here's what you can get when you do complete this event, you get top ranker, you do hit SS1, you get some 1010 exchange tickets, you get esoteric scrolls, you get some face paints, abstract and triple stars, you get scrolls, you get heat on off a curse of immolation for men and women, you get more esoteric scrolls, Han Yugito outfit, we get more scrolls, you get a Gara outfit, a Kushina outfit, and we get Datara's hairstyle. Listen man, Datara's hairstyle has dropped. You guys can get this right now. I didn't even know they added data risk hairstyle. Man, we do have plain scroll at the bottom. Guys, listen, bro, come on. This is a 10 out of 10 Ninja World League. They dropped, bro. Shinobi Striker, listen. I know y'all are thankful for me. He decided to drop the data right here on Thanksgiving. Listen, bro. Hey, me and my community are thankful for y'all too, man. Hey, hey, we're thankful for y'all, man. Bandai, you hear me? Listen, bro. Thank you for this amazing present on Thanksgiving. Data is here. What else can I ask for, man? I'm going to definitely be rocking that, bro. So if y'all want to, you know, rock the goat's hair, grind up Ninja Royal League and you will get Daedara's hair. This is, this literally just got leaked in the latest Naruto DLC update that's finally dropping. So I definitely like, no, all trolling aside, this is definitely like a 10 out of 10 update. If you really want Daedara's hair, like, bruh, this just came out and got leaked. So it's already out. So grind up Ninja Royal League to D3 and you'll get Daedara's hair and some other cool stuff. 
and you're definitely gonna need scrolls because I just showcased all the items that will be coming out in the recent coming weeks um, on my channel so if you guys haven't checked all those videos out just did like 10 of those so make sure I check them out and I'll probably be dropping that unreleased outfit as well, man. So with that being said, though, let me know what y'all do think about this new update down below in the comments. Um, We did really not get new stuff, but we did get Daedra's hairstyle, which is something new, bruh. So I consider it a W, man. We got a new hairstyle as a reward for Ninja World League. And we got a couple new shops. So uh, they also dropped the Celestial Garb, which has never released. I don't know why for some reason. That was like some lore that says never dropped that outfit doing the obito dlc drop but now it's finally officially out man after a whole year they never officially released this so yeah again like i said i hope you guys do have an amazing thanksgiving man make sure i do go spend time with your loved ones show them that you are thankful for them bro and tell them too that you are thankful for them show love to people who you're thankful for today man i will definitely be doing that and listen bro i will be dropping another video later tonight i'm gonna get this video done before i gotta do stuff today so listen if y'all catch me in your games recording the best young naruto dlc build so make sure you guys do pull up for that video later tonight i think after tomorrow we'll be back to single day uploads so yeah man with that being said i do hope you guys enjoyed this update if you haven't already make sure you guys do like comment and subscribe what you guys do think about the update and um yeah hopefully you guys have a blessed thanksgiving morning day night wherever you are at right now i love you guys so much i appreciate every single one of you that watch my videos even if you hate me you love me Regardless of what you do, man, I'm thankful for you because I would not be in the position I am today to be doing what I do. So with that being said, I love y'all and I will catch you guys later for that upload. Peace.